Oops, sorry about that, you guys. I'm waiting for my screen to load. Okay. Hey, second graders, how are you guys? Um, so today what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how um, to put together all of the research that we've done to make a presentation, to share what we've been learning, okay? So remember, we've been learning about wasps and flies. So let's look at our learning target today so that we can see what we're working on. So the second one that I kind of circled down here says, I can research information about pollinators to teach someone else about pollination. So when we put together a presentation, what we're doing is we're teaching somebody else. So actually, what you're watching right now this video, this is me making a presentation for you guys. So I will go over the steps of how to make a presentation, and then we'll try one together, okay? And let's remember the first learning target. So it says, I can identify the relationship between pollinators and fruits, flowers, and vegetables. So we've been studying wasps and flies. Those are the pollinators. And we're seeing the relationship between um, different fruits, flowers, or vegetables. So remember, they helped the cacao flower. And they also helped the blueberry plant. So that's that relationship, right? The plant needs wasps and flies to help get that pollination going. And then the wasps and flies actually also need those flowers or plants for their food. So they're both helping each other. They both have that relationship going so that they can both survive, okay? So we already said we're gonna talk about the wasps and the flies. And let's talk about what makes a good presentation. So when I am planning these videos um, that I'm doing right now, especially during this time where I have to do everything online, I really make sure that I plan my notes and I've been thinking about how do I communicate this information, right? So even just the slides that I've been doing for you guys, I thought, hmm, it might be nice if I actually put my face on these videos. So when I was planning for this presentation today, I thought that I would figure out how I could also share my face so you guys can see me talking and not just have to look at this screen. And once I've done that, and once I've made my notes, which are in these slides, I have to practice. So before I actually make this video, I practice going over the notes and I make sure I know what they say and I make sure that they make sense. Sometimes I actually, if I don't practice enough, I have to stop and make the video again if I mess up. Um, so that's what we're really gonna focus on today is the first one so that we have notes so that we can practice reading them and make it a good presentation. When we're done with that, we'll also make it look nice by adding illustrations and um, we'll work on some scientific drawings once you guys have picked the pollinator that you want to present on. And finally, you guys will get to make your own teaching videos and you'll get to make some presentations. So let's just look at the notes section today. So I'm going to show you two note cards that you guys are going to watch me fill out and then try filling out on your own. So the first note card right here, it says note card one, tells just about the plant, okay? So remember, we're talking about plants and pollinators. The first note card is just about the plant. So number one says introduce your plant, and number two says tell why it is important. And if you want, I included some sentence frames in here that we can try using, okay? So here's how I did it. So again, we're focusing on note card one. It's just about the plant. And the blue is where I added my response. So I said, the plant I researched is the cacao flower. So that was one of the plants we read about. It is important because cacao is used to make chocolate and I love chocolate. In fact, I ate chocolate while working on this presentation. So you can see for the second part, I added just like a little fun tidbit about myself because when you're doing a presentation, you want to keep it interesting. You want to be talking to your audience. Um, so I added something a little bit personal, a little bit about me to kind of catch people's attention. And what we'll also do, you'll see at the bottom, it says add a photo or drawing. So when you guys pick your pollinator, we'll learn a little bit more about how to make a scientific drawing. So that means like a real, listic drawing, so something that looks real, that we can add to your presentation. 
Okay, the second note card where it says note card two says tell about your plant's pollinator and tell how your pollinator helps your plant. So now we get to kind of dig into that relationship that we talked about in our learning target, right? How is this pollinator helping the plant, okay? And the sentence frames I chose are these two. I said, the secret behind the mm, behind the plant, is mm. So that sentence is telling you that what insect helps the plant. The second sentence here says the mm helps the mm by mm, right? So the, tell me what insect helps the, what is the plant, by, how does it help the plant? So let me show you how I did those two. So I said the secret behind the cacao flower is wasps and flies, okay? So this is where I'm telling you that wasps and flies help the cacao flower. The second part says the wasps and flies help the cacao flower by mm. So I actually left that part blank on purpose because I would like to see how you guys can fill in that last little part, okay? So I will make sure that you have the text either on Seesaw or on Google Classroom. What you're going to do is you will get the blank note cards without my writing on it. And you will practice using those note cards and filling them in. And then that last little part you're going to do on your own. And remember, you can always come back to this video, maybe pause it on a, on a place that's the most helpful for you to fill in your document or your note cards. So yep, that says your turn. Try using these note cards in Seesaw or Google Classroom. And if you have any questions, make sure that you ask me, ask Ms. Nick Peek, make sure you're getting that help because we don't want you guys to get frustrated or feel confused, okay?